And there's an update on my 55 gallon tank with myself and Molly's in it. I put a lot more plants in there this time. Took that fake one out. More room back there. Put a lot more plants in. A lot more. Put more grass in because this grass is kind of struggling over here, so I put some new one, in, some new ones in. Water is kind of brown because of the new plants. But you can see it looks like an Amazon in there. Once these plants start filling in, it's going to look really, really nice. Got a lot of nice females, and then there's myself in male. So I got the sponge filter, underground filter with the power head, and then I got the over, over the back filter back there. So, it's gonna be plenty of filtration, filtration, filtration. Oh, messed up on the word. More than enough. So, this water should clear up in a few days. It looks a lot better without that fake plant in there, that's for sure. Now the only thing that's in there that's fake is the little tree. This grass around here is starting to root and can grow now, finally. Keep the temperature around 80 to 82. Right, right there, 80 to 82. I keep this tank warm because the mollies like it in a warm, warm temperature. Once they have their babies, though, they're going to be going into either this aquarium, depending on how many there are, or they will go into the, one of the totes I got. I got a shrimp in there somewhere. Put a shrimp in my fry tank. Let's see if I can find him. And this is where I got my plants from, right here. All I did was cut some of the plants back and did some trimming. There's my ch oh, the Chinese algae that I moved in here on my last video. I showed him in there. Yeah, the grass in here is still growing really well. I need to actually take it take it out and cut them up into smaller portions and spread them out more again. I have to do that all the time. That's how you get the carpet for this type of this type of uh, grass. The root system starts sticking up because the plants are just too bulky. So you, all you gotta do is take them out. I got a pair of tongs. Just take them out, clip them, and replant them in different areas. And then that's how I get this carpet to start to go. It's a lot of work having planted aquariums, but I like it though. It looks it looks a lot more natural and plus it helps with the filtration filtration I should say I mean and I got this huge snail I don't, know, I don't know what kind of snail that is it came in with the plants but it's crystal clear but it's huge It's so big that I 
It ate two of these snails. I saw in another video that if the snails don't get enough food, they will actually eat each other. I did not know that. And then I saw these empty shells, and sure enough, I know it has to be that giant. That giant right there is the one that has had to have ate them. Because the rest of the snows are way too small. Let's see. Let's see, there's one right there. That's an adult for that type of snail. The other ones are just way too small. There's some babies up there. Yeah, that snow right there is a giant. It's all over the place. It'll be right there, and then it'll be on the glass, and then it'll be on this rock cave, which I put moss on it to try and give it more of a uh, rustic look. And then the moss is starting to grow around it, which I wanted it to do. And I didn't use any line or anything. I just placed it on there and spread it out real thin. And it's growing out the way I wanted it to grow out. I just got lucky, I guess. And then my guppies, they're getting big. So I'm going to have a tote that goes underneath here. I'm going to have it for probably the guppies. And that ten, this 10 gallon tank is going to become a shrimp tank. See if I can find my shrimp. It's right there in the back. You can see the reflection off of there. It's a green cherry shrimp. It's a, we got one right now. Just to see how he, the babies react to them. And I think it's a big enough size to where they don't really care about them much. You can see some of the guppies are getting almost breeding size. There's so much crap I need for this fish tough though. I need to get a breeding net to place, to place one of the males in. And then when these ones do get big enough, I stick three or four females in with that male to get a certain line going and then I place the next male in the breeding net and do the same thing with some more females to try and get my own line of guppies right now see I want to keep the black line these are black these are uh, babies from one of the black females that I had See how dark this mill is? I want to keep that black line going, so. But I also want to see what happens if I put orange in there, in there as well. And these are the perfect, perfect ones to use for that because they are having not bread with anything yet, so. It's easier to raise the fry into fish, and then you can experiment that way. Like with the 55 gallon tank, I think those females just have to give, they just start, they just have to start having babies because that male's not showing any interest in any of the other ones except the white female. And I think it might be because he knows he can't do anything with them. I don't know if I mentioned it in one of my other videos, but the sperm from one male can last up to three births, which means these fish here, there's two, I think there's three different sizes of guppies, and then I got my one set of mollies. 
two of them came from one female. And she ended up passing away. So now I only have two females. And they're getting harassed, so... I can't really do anything about it because I don't have the means of getting a fish breeder right now. Or a net breeder or whatever I want to get. I can get a plastic one or I can get the net one. The net one's a lot bigger so I can fit more in it. What I need to do is separate these males from the females so that they don't feel, so they can feel comfortable and start releasing their babies. I mean, or the other thing is, I can move them into this tank because they're the exact same temperature, they have the exact same heater, and both tanks stay at 78 degrees. I could put it them into this tank and they could possibly because of all the babies in here they could possibly feel comfortable and have the babies. The only risk I'm taking is, is the molly babies are still so tiny that they could still be eaten. I mean, look how tiny that little white thing is. Barely see it in the rocks. See it. Not the guppy, the white one. If I get closer, there you go. There it is. Bright white, though. Really nice color. I like using this black substrate. A lot of people don't like using black color, but I like using dark color because a lot of the fish that I have are bright colored. I only have three black mollies and then I have three golden golden color ones and then one white one. So when when I saw the white white babies I got I found them right away. The black ones will be harder to find, yeah, but at the same time I kinda don't care. Only because I'm, I just need one black male self and that's no, that's it. I don't want any more females than what I have. I need males. Males sell. Females do too. You get a lot of them, but... It's a lot of totes and stuff. Here's a go. There's a good view of the shrimp right here in the front. Camera sucks. It's kind of blurry. Yeah, this camera sucks. And but as you can see, the babies don't even bother it at all. So this will be my shrimp tank once I get the tote that goes underneath the table. <coughs> I'll drain most of this water out and move it. I'll leave the plants in there just so that the shrimp have stuff to climb on and eat off of. I know I don't have a lot of subscribers yet, but hopefully I start getting a lot more. And once I do start getting a lot of these fish babies, like once the molly start having babies and stuff, that's when things are going to start happening a lot faster. I already got a big tote and I'm prepared for them to start giving birth, so... Just waiting. Yeah, you can see there's like some good sized guppies in here already. I mean, I could stick them in with the adults, the bigger ones. And then once they're mating size, the males would, would just mate with them. But then I'm taking a risk of one male just getting all of them pregnant. And then 
I wouldn't get the orange strain or the black or some of the black strain still. And there's a baby over here scratching its belly. These mollies are small. They're the smaller ones. Like the one that's eating right there. The guppies do harass them. But it's I think that's a good thing. Because once they get to where their breeding size and I can put them back in to the 55 gallon. Especially if some of these are males while they're being harassed by bigger fish and because they do fight back too they do a little fin swapping thing there's another little molly right there there's six of them in here but yeah even as even though they're so small they learn how to do all that stuff and they're stronger than they I'm really hoping one of these are a male <coughs> Because then it would give this other male in here competition to breed. Which in return would fa make the females want to de deliver faster. That and the water is just, I think it's just the water too. The plants really need to take root. The new ones I put in really need to take root. They need to go off and then clear up that water. Okay, this tank's clear, crystal clear, and all it has is an underground filter, and it's not even on high. It's on one of the lower settings because this one needs all of the all of the uh, power in this one to clean the clean this tank. This tank's crystal clear too, surprisingly. It's got a little bit of brown, but it's only because I trimmed the plants. So the plants are trying to regrow out again. Yeah, this moss is for the shrimp, but I've been seeing the babies eat off of it, too. It's got a lot of bacteria on it. The only thing that sucks is this. time it takes for these guys to grow sucks because while these guys are growing the other ones are getting older too once they get to a certain age the males don't really breed much so that's why I need to get some of their babies in here I think I have about another two two weeks, and then these ones will be breedable. And then that's when the fun stuff starts. That's when I can actually pick and choose which ones to breed with which fish. And then I will continuously net the babies up, put them in a tote under here. Oh, that's what I was gonna, I was gonna say. So. The lighting system on there, the that long one, is supposed to go on top of this tank. 
but I needed it for the 55 just because it was on sale. So what I'm planning on doing is getting a long one for the 55 and then put that long one on the 20 because the 20 is for is supposed to be for a 20 anyways. So then I have that and then these extra lights that I have that I made for myself will go on the totes. So there's my lighting for the totes. Not gonna buy nothing. The only thing I have to worry about is filtering and heating. The heating is the biggest problem. Filtering, not so much. All I need to do for the filtering is get a b better power head, put it in there that way, because I still got two hoses I can put onto this thing. But I need a b better power head. Because the babies don't really drop a lot of, uh, they don't really, they're not real messy. So. As you can see, I mean, there's a lot of fry in there and then fish. It's crystal clear. I just added the shrimp, uh, about, I think two days ago. Just to see how they would react. And none of them have been hostile towards it. But I want this 10 gallon to be a shrimp tank. So I'm going to have a little shrimp colony of green. I'm only going to get greens. Because they blend in better. And then once that tank over there starts clearing up a little bit, I may try and stick some shrimp in there. There he, there he is, or she, I don't know yet. Yeah, I'm looking forward to having a shrimp tank. I've always wanted a shrimp tank. This fish got a piece of a leaf and she's trying to eat it. <laughs> yeah, you guys. I'm really looking forward to this. I'm a few weeks away from having my guppies breedable, and then I can start having my own genetic genes going through them. And it's going to be exciting times. Can't wait to see what the outcomes are, and I hope I get some males out of them. Right now, it looks like all these fish are females. There might be one or two males in here, guppies, but like this dark one right here is definitely going to be a male because the coloration is a lot darker and better than the others. And then that one right there is darker. That one's probably going to be a male. They're still too young to tell, but they are the color you can just see that his front's black you can see some of the same size ones over near him they're whitish and the females look the females are a lot whiter and the male has a lot darker color which that's the black line that I was telling you guys about. I want to keep that going. And then once I start getting babies that, that have males that are black, they'll start they keep that black line going, and I will have a tote just for them. And I will feed them and have them raised inside of the tote until I get a big number of them and then the orange one I don't know what's gonna happen because I haven't this yellow one hasn't given birth yet but I can't wait for her to give birth because I want her babies to breed with the orange with that orange one the orange guppy 
and then get the, that line going. So what, what is that? A tote here for guppies. Shrimp tank. I got a tote for the mollies, the new ones when I should get that when I ordered them, they're going inside of a tote. Just to get them, just to see how they are after the shipping and everything's done. I don't want to put them in there right away. I'm hoping that this thing clears up. I'm not going to order them until this tank is looks like this. The only reason why this tank's clear is because there's very little plants, and like I said, the babies don't really drop enough to where what the plants can't handle. However, that tank is just big. And the tannins in there, I believe, are from the soil I used. I don't, I don't think I got all the bark out of it. Did water changes and a bunch of other stuff. I'm probably going to have to do more water changes, but... I added that on the back filter to get rid of that brown stuff and it's doing its job so far. It's cleared up a lot since I put it on there yesterday. It's a day to day thing. More, more focused on the babies though because I'm starting to get some to where I can start breeding them. Get a guppy train going. And self and Molly train going. Yeah, I think these adults will probably live their whole lives in here, probably. And then once I start getting a, a black strain of males and females. I'll just let them grow out in the tote. One that goes from the front to the back. Nothing in it. Just clear. And let them go wild. I mean that's about if it comes up if it comes up to the top of this table and it fits in between this table from side to side. That's about 30, 40 gallons of water. I could probably hold 50, 60, 70, 80, maybe, maybe more. And just have one black line of mollies going in it. Yeah, so I gotta clean these cords. I'm not gonna clean any of this. I gotta clean a lot of these cords and stuff up, but I'm not doing that until I start getting more stuff. I'll organize everything a lot better once I get stuff rolling. Just a waiting game. No one commented on wanting to see water changes and stuff, so I haven't been showing videos of that stuff. So it is what it is. I may start doing them anyways, just to get more videos on my channel. I mean, I make more videos than other YouTubers, and they have like something thousand subscribers. I got close to 300 videos on my channel, and only 21, 20. But the 21 that I have matter. That's the difference. They can have a thousand, two thousand, but the twenty one that I have, I actually know most of them, so they matter more than a thousand. Oh, yeah, so like the shrimp I found out are not cheap at all. Like that one shrimp was ten bucks, this whole thing of uh, moss was seven bucks. And the fish I'm ordering aren't cheap either. So. 
anyone out there has any other ideas of what I can do for getting this tank clear, comment. Cause if it wasn't for that brownness, if it wasn't for the brownness, this would be a really nice tank to look at. And these fish are very, very, they have a lot of personality. And they, they just love seeing me all the time. Even if I don't feed them, they're just always excited to see me f for some reason. They like to interact with me, which is pretty cool, I think. Yeah, these females need to start giving, having babies. Well, that's it. That's it. Just wanted to give you a little update. So, summing everything up, I got my guppy babies that are about to be breeding size. I got a lot of plans, a lot of things I'm going to add. Let's see, what else was there? Planning on ordering a sunset red mollies next month and by then this tank should be clear I mean this if, once these plants grow out man it's gonna be so cool it's gonna look like the Amazon so I got some plants back here around the heater they're gonna grow around the heater I'm gonna get another a different heater and then this heater is gonna be used in one of the totes so I gotta go and buy another one uh, what was I going to say? So those plants are going to hide the heater that I'm going to be putting in there. It's going to be a smaller heater but a higher wattage and I can put it at 82 degrees and it will stay at 82 degrees. In one of the other videos I said had said that this one's broken. It is. It just stays on. So once it gets to around 84 I unplug it. And then the water just stays around 80 or so, 78, and then I plug it back in and 